One man, one mission to rid the world of chronic anxiety once and for all. The Anxiety Guy, Dennis Simsek, shares his personal transformation from living a life filled with overwhelming worry to becoming a full-fledged positivity machine. A leading authority in generalized anxiety, Dennis gets to the truth of your mental health challenges and sets you on a path to transforming each and every area of your life. Here he is, the one and only, The Anxiety Guy. Hello everyone and welcome to episode number 25 of the Anxiety Guy podcast. We are in episode number 25. Wow. And my name is Dennis Simsek. I go by the Anxiety Guy online and make sure to subscribe to this podcast on iTunes and you can do that through anxietyexit.com. And all the updates for this podcast as well as valuable resources and just interviews and inspirational stuff is all going to be located under my Facebook page under The Anxiety Guy. So make sure to like that as well. Episode number 25 is a little bit of a heartbreaker for myself Um, because uh, lately, you know, I've gotten a couple of emails I've gotten a couple of responses on iTunes um, saying, Dennis, leave the mental health stuff for the professionals. Um, And I always preach and and, uh, preach that therapy is very important. Mental health professionals are the first people to take care of anxiety disorders Um, and, And that should be left in those people's hands. However, I I really believe that if you've been through hell and back, um, and if you've been through a lot of pain and a lot of suffering um, for years, and you have a story to tell, and you know you've come through it, and you've found ways to come through it, I believe that kind of inspiration. Um, and those kind, that kind of um, support and advice is so crucial to to people in this world. And I really believe, and I'm speaking out to people out there, and I know a lot of other CBT life coaches such as myself um, who deal with relationship issues, uh, people's relationship issues, uh, helping people succeed in their careers, um, you know, helping people overcome roadblocks and such. Um, to meet their goals. I, I know people out there and, and they really do know what they're saying uh, when it comes to helping people with health-related anxieties, helping people who are trying to overcome their own fears and such. Um, so I am a firm believer that um, that I should not be the number one person that people come to when they're dealing with chronic, chronic um, mental health issues. I totally admit that. And I'm speaking out to people, I'm speaking out to people there that have criticized me a little bit for, for making these videos and for making these podcasts and, and posts and such. Um, but on the other flip side of things, you know, I've helped over 7,000 people, and that's a lot of people. Um, The program, the End the Anxiety program, is doing fantastic. The one-on-ones with people, I feel like, are really giving people not only hope, but giving them a roadmap, a personalized roadmap. Um, So I really would like to send a message today to people out there that are suffering from anxiety, health anxiety, to be open-minded. Um, and as you can see, that the mental health numbers in today's world are going up. I'm a, I'm a contributor to uh, Health Unlocked, healthunlocked.com, um, the website that, that, that has a ton of, uh, that has a forum and has a chat and has um, other groups related to health anxiety. And I, and I do posts and stuff there. Um, and I write there a little bit and I have a group there under health unlocked and, um, and and I cannot believe the amount of pain and suffering people are going through. It's almost like they've been through it all. 
They're asking people what the best medication is. They're asking people what the best therapist is in their in their um, their cities, in their localities, and and asking people if a certain symptom sh- is should be related to anxiety. You know, um, should it, should they be worried? Should they go to the doctors? You know, how to deal with it? There's just so much pain. There's so much suffering out there, and. And if I I feel like, you know what, if I don't speak up about these things, many people won't. Many people won't. And and and, and you can really tell when you start to put things into practice um, and, and you start to accept some of the knowledge that, that someone who's uh, suffered from anxiety gives you and you start to put it in practice into your own life. And you can really tell if things are working or not, um, if you give it enough time, of course. Um, so, so for me, what I'm all about is is helping people, you know, overcome their roadblocks. I'm not about techniques. I'm not about just giving people tips. Here's a tip, you know. I'm about breaking the wall down. You know, you see the wall, and, and I'm about destroying anxiety because I believe that on a daily basis, miracles should be part of our lives you know miracle shouldn't be something that happens out of the blue wow you know that happened i see miracles all the time you know miracles are a part of my life Uh, i see people who've been suffering from health anxiety and symptoms for for decades and, and just after a few coaching sessions you know people are able to turn that switch off their anxiety switch off just by by, by helping them notice a few things here and there and helping them change their outlook, um, helping them change their mindset. And, and the people that are successful are the ones that really have the end result in mind. Um, I truly believe that if you constantly talk about your anxiety to people, if you constantly re- remind yourself of of you know the fact that you have anxiety or the fact that you're waking up another day and you have to deal with someone or whatever you know you're just feeding it you're just feeding you you know your pain and your your anxiousness and your worry you really are the people that succeed um, to overcome their fears the people that succeed um, in reaching their goals are the people that create um, and I talk about this in my YouTube video as well uh, the people that create these small goals on a daily basis and and the problem with today's world is that we're all becoming so bloody lazy you know we can pick up a phone and, and in a second we can get a hold of someone uh, across the street you know and 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 um, through some kind of messenger app or whatever and 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 there's there's so many devices there's so many little tools coming out that are just making us lazier and lazier and lazier and with all that laziness comes searching for a quick solution to all our problems and if you've been through what I've been through uh, you and I both know that a quick solution is very, very possible um, when it comes to anxiety and such. But it shouldn't be. You shouldn't be looking at it as you know. I'm I'm partaking in something. I'm taking in this advice, and boom, you know, I should be well. We should always be looking at things in a long term situation, and that's when we really succeed um, quickly in the short term. Um, when we don't have these expectations so quickly. Um, so you know. My story is very relatable. If you've read my book, if you go on anxietyexit.com, please pick up my book. It's free. Of course it's free. And um, it's it's a story. It's a roller coaster story about a professional athlete who's been through health anxiety and has tried everything from, from becoming religious to different anti-anxiety medications. And by the way, those medications, and I talk about it in my book where I was slurring my words um, when I was at work a lot of times, and I didn't even realize the dose I was taking. So anti-anxiety medications were really... Um, really interesting to me because they helped in the short term and then as I upped my dose things got worse and worse um, and and understand that every issue is very different when it comes to someone who has anxiety um, and they go to the doctors and and they're dealing with this and they're worried and such 
Um, there is no one size fits all, which is what we see from doctors today. And, and I'm just going to be upfront about everything, as I am with this podcast and on my Facebook page and, and everything else. Um, there is no one size fits all. You have to do your research. You have to find success stories from from other people. You have to put. You have to find a role model um, and modeling yourself through that person you know the best thing I ever did as a tennis player growing up was that I um, found a role model and my role model was a guy named Andre Agassi and Andre Agassi was the coolest guy out there Andre Agassi had the hair you know um, he people loved him he was he had perfect technique on the court. He was full of confidence. I was at the point when I was a kid growing up, I was walking like Andre. I was using the same technique as Andre. I was talking like Andre on the court and off the court. I became Andre Agassi um, as I was growing up. And everybody's like, wow, you're so similar to Andre Agassi. And that was a compliment for me. And and that really took my mind off of all the expectations I had for myself. All I did was role model someone. I acted like them. Uh, you know, I, I did everything like them. And you can use this kind of approach for, for anything related to anxiety. You know, if you have trouble public speaking, you know, what's a great public speaker out there? If you go on YouTube, you're going to see tons of them. And... Um, you know, what's uh, take myself for example, um, health anxiety. How does Dennis approach this situation? How does he approach that situation? What does Dennis do on a daily basis? If you follow me um, on Instagram, you'll have a good idea of what I do on a daily basis and how my life is. And you can do the same. I mean, you can really just do what I'm doing. And, um, and, and I really feel like when you when, when we start to do these things uh, on a daily basis, they make a huge difference. So I know I'm jumping around a little bit today, guys, but the message today is is to be open-minded and accept support, um, accept advice from people who's been in your who have been in your shoes. And and don't be closed off as far as finding a solution. Keep looking, you know, keep looking and keep it as natural as you possibly can. If something feels too, you know, if something feels too good to be true, it probably is. You know, if you hear the next new antidepressant to come out that will, you know, that has done this and done that and done that, it's probably too good to be true. Um, And that's just one example. So understand that. Um, yeah, I do believe that um, you should be listening to not only my advice uh, as far as health anxiety goes and how to overcome some of the stressors in your life and how to get to those goals that you set out for yourself, but do your research online and find other success stories as well. And you're going to find that, and we talked about small, small wins, As these small wins start to stack up one after another after another, you start to build your confidence. You start to become the person you want to be. You start to get closer and closer to the end goal uh, of the kind of person you want to be, the kind of things you want to do in your life. If that's traveling, you know, fear of flying, fear of driving, fear of anything. Um, and, And small goals, when we talk about small goals, I really, you know, one that I did was was basically a seven step goal. I, I basically went every single day um, trying to overcome my my fear of getting into elevators. So for me, that was a big one, and and I had such a fear. And the funny thing is, is I lived in a, an apartment my entire uh, junior life um, up to the age of uh, twenty five. But then, you know, after that, I developed this fear of of elevators. I couldn't get in one. So what I did was I started small. And every single day I set out to 
um, to conquer that uh, to that challenge that I put out for myself. So the first day I would step into an elevator and step out. The second day, you know, I would step in with two feet, step out a few times just to get the feel of what it's like to be in an elevator back and forth. Um, the next day, you know, I would step in, I would hit a button and I'd go up one floor. The next day I would go up two floors with, say, another person and so on. And you can see how this builds to the end goal. And I truly believe that this is a this is a great way. I believe it's called systematic desensitization. Um, it's a cognitive behavioral therapy technique that you can use for some of your fears there. Um, and so, when it comes to some of the fears, that's a great way to approach it. So the message, guys, is uh, and and I I don't want to offend people out there. You know, some of the things I say may be a little bit open, but I always want to tell everybody out there that they're coming from my heart. They're coming from my experience. Always, always do your research, even from what I'm saying, you know. Um, don't believe everything I say, because if you do, I mean, you're going to fall into the trap of being closed-minded again. Be open-minded, you know. Um, talk to people and, and see if what I'm saying worked for them. Um, try things that I'm, I'm kind of giving the advice out there. Try it out and see if it works for you. And, uh, and I truly believe that everybody should be able to live the life they want to live. And, and, and I, am a, I am at, you know, a true believer of that. And, um, and that's the message today. Episode what are we in? Episode number 25. And on YouTube, you're going to find some great mobile videos that I really want you to go and watch. And and those are just spur of the moment. You know, right now I'm, I'm kind of going through a book here. Um, and, and if you've seen a couple of videos, you'll know which book it is. It's Feel the Way You Want to Feel No Matter What by Dr. Aldo Pucci. Love him. Um, can't get enough of him and and he's fantastic he knows his CBT in and out he's helped so many people around the world um, look him up Aldo Pucci and 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 he's a great great teacher there um, until next episode until episode number 26 stay open-minded accept advice from people who have been in your shoes uh, reach out to people out there guys just like you're reaching out to me um, understand that you deserve everything you deserve what your true voice is truly telling you what you deserve you don't deserve what your critical mind is telling you your critical voice and, and try your best to do the things that are going to support you on a daily basis and stay away from the things that are harming you and that comes down to thoughts that comes down to your beliefs uh, that comes down to your awareness of things and your emotional um, reactions to things so until the next episode guys take care see you soon mm -hmm.